Welcome back everybody, I'm here with you again. I uh, wanted to talk about, well actually I was happy to have a, a new GoPro, that's what I'm recording this on right now. Uh, my old one hit the pole of a, of a soccer uh, a soccer goalpost pretty hard, it broke it uh, beyond repair for sure. I, I'll be sending this back, I did have the coverage on it. Uh, I got another one just as a spare. I have another camera that I might look at in another video. We'll, we'll see how that goes. Anyway, I wanted to talk about some things that I bought when I first got in, or back, I should say back into the RC hobby, specifically into quadcopters. And I like building. I've, I've done a lot of mechanical engineering builds. I've done a lot of electrical engineering builds. Uh, I almost I almost enjoy building as much as I do flying these things. So I want to talk about some things that I have purchased that did not work, and uh, I was just disappointed in. And, and, and today I'm going to talk about the Emax Magnum. What do they call it? Uh, the all-in-one FPV. It's the Emax F4 Magnum AOI or all-in-one FPV stack. This comes, I think it's just over $100. This is all that's left. I don't have an actual one here. I don't want to buy another one. It's an all-in-one all stack. It had a 4-in-1 ESC. It had... It has... Uh, a flight controller board with a built-in buzzer and the OSD and the whole rigmarole. And also... Came with a little one of the crappy little uh, video transmitters that just fits that just fits right on here. I took it off to try to use it for something else. It also came with I think it came with a receiver. I don't know. I had my uh, my FR Sky uh, XM Plus on there. I don't I don't I just don't remember if it came. It doesn't matter. Uh, the first one of these that I had the flight controller spontaneously decided just to stop working. You could take it off here, plug it in, try to plug it into beta flight, and nothing. And I don't have any idea why it started doing that. So I said, all right, maybe I just got a bad one. I ordered another one uh, from, the, from wherever I got it from. And I figured, well, okay, if the flight controller's out, then I'll have a spare ESC stack here. So, cool. So I put the I got the other one. I spent another hundred and some dollars. I got the other one. I put it in. I don't even remember what quad it was in. And uh, now I've had some bad crashes before, especially for how short I've been how short a time I've been doing this. But I haven't had an ESC set on fire before. Now, this was not this was not a major crash. I have witnesses to back me up on this. It was like one of my bad landings. If I remember right, I was bringing it in or I was, I was a little bit too low and it crashed and it tumbled a little bit. Not like anything major. And I disarmed it pretty quickly, as I always do. ESC caught on fire. Like when my friend went to go pick it up, it, he burned himself on it. And we had to figure out how to, to put this thing so it didn't destroy. And when it caught on fire, it also destroyed the flight controller board. I don't remember, some wires in the quadcopter, things like that. So you say, oh, why don't you just put this other one on there? Yeah, no thanks. I don't. You know, one problem with the with the board, one problem with the ESC. I think I'm going to go to something else. Right now, I've been I've been building with Hobby Wing. Just want to set up in here. It's kind of the same sort of deal. There's an ESC in there with a flight controller. It just pins on the, the top, makes a nice clean build. I have uh, I think three quadcopters right now with those in there, and, and, I've, and I've just recently had a problem. And I'm not sure what the cause of that is, but. I'm pretty hard on my quads too, but they certainly haven't set on fire. So, now I haven't, 
worked very hard to try to talk to Emacs about this for a replacement because honestly, I just don't want another one until they revise it or if it's until it's a better product. So if I can save you a little bit of time and frustration, uh, don't just don't buy it. I would love to hear from you if you've used this flight uh, or this uh, Emacs Magnum stack in your builds before and had good luck, because I sure didn't. Thank you. I'll see you next time.